Hi, I'm Kevin. This is YQ. Why fast twist? Whew. I feel like this is half of what I talk about. Energy. It's one reason. Look at this breakdown. Twist and the percentage of the energy that it is. So this is a percentage of the total energy. And when you change the twist, how much of the 100% is the rotational energy? Look at when you're one in 11 twist, one and a half percent of the energy comes from rotation. That's it. Why the rotational velocity is important and you wanna make that number as big as possible of the 100% is because the decay of that velocity is much slower than linear velocity. So, you know, you shoot a 16 inch 308 at the muzzle, it's 2,600 feet a second. At 850 yards, it's probably 850 feet a second. Like your linear velocity, it slows down very quickly. The rotational velocity does not. So the bullet's still spinning real fast, whether it's at the muzzle or at a thousand yards. So maybe this will make an impression on some of you. 500,000 RPMs out of a 12 inch barrel when we start spinning that thing one and three. That's incredible because you have to stop the bullet from going this way and going this way. And I've said it a bunch of times, we started chasing fast twist. We we're trying to get the accuracy of subsonic out of rifle bullets. Big, long bullets going slow, you gotta spin them fast because we're trying to get one MOA out to 300 meters. So with subs, your linear velocity is limited or it would be super and not sub. And then it's gonna be loud, like you're trying to be quiet. What can we do about energy on target when we're limited by linear velocity? We can spin the bullet fast. That's how we do it. It doesn't even slow down. So at the muzzle or thousand yards, the bullet is still spinning fast. So we can still put the energy on target. Fast twist, it also stabilizes subsonics accuracy. Like we were talking about, you wanna shoot 300 meters, shoot a three inch group, you wanna be able to hunt to 300 meters with subsonic. With fast twist too, those bullets expand, so whether you shoot something at 20 meters or at 300, the bullet's gonna perform. You don't really get that window with bullets that just rely on linear velocity. Hey, this fast twist is not just for 8.6. The bigger the bullet, the bigger the diameter of the bullet, the better it works. But even in our 5.56, five, we're able to take a couple inches off the barrel, go that one in five twist. So we get great dispersion with those long bullets and we're adding energy. Well, we're not adding energy, that's not the thing. Okay, so we're, we're adding rotational energy. So which decays at a slower rate. So it ends up with more energy because you're losing linear velocity energy faster. Jesus, man. So I one of the engineers do this one. So it's not just for 8.6. Uh, you know, I'm excited about some of the African cartridges. <laughs> I'm excited about some of the African cartridges. 458 lot, that big old bullet, let's start spinning that thing fast. I can go from having a 24 inch barrel to a 16 inch barrel, and now I can use a silencer and it's shorter and lighter overall. That's gonna be wonderful. 300 blackout, one in five twist. We probably should start going faster. You want a 12 inch or a 13 inch, whatever, 308, it should be a faster twist, probably a one in five. Fast twist, it's a more efficient energy transfer to the target. Oh, that's, that should just start with this card, it's the whole thing. And this is a wonderful part of fast twist. What we found is the bullets expand more reliably, more consistently, and instantly. Like a mechanical broadhead on impact, general bullets that expand to transfer energy generally enter a target and go some distance before they start to deform. With fast twist, it's happening immediately. So it's a more efficient transfer of the energy into the target. Larger wound channel, more cutting surface, arterial damage, all these things. You can have a blood trail if you make a questionable shot. If you make a decent shot, seems like fast twist, you, the animal's just gonna be lying right there when you get there. Yeah, I don't know why somebody didn't think of fast twist a long time ago, it's ridiculous. With the guy, some of the brilliant guys we've had in this industry, fast twist should have been done 100 years ago. Anyway, that's why.